Hello and welcome to another update video about Optimism, one of the opportunity coins that we've been talking about in the last few weeks, not without reason, because it did have an interesting trade setup here. We've been following Optimism, I think, since it was um, topping out here and we talked about then this support area to get into. Uh, we actually maxed it out and nearly maxed it out. And um, again, now we are reversing out of this possible or out of this support area yeah, in a one two setup a similar setup that we have on some other charts like ethereum yeah ethereum is obviously a little bit further ahead and after this wave two completion we are expecting now a wave three to the upside this wave three could eventually take us let's talk about that as well can take us into the region around three dollars and sixty eventually yeah so this will actually need to stretch out a little bit higher so we need to see how how this will stretch out in detail yeah um this is only the broad sketch and the broad roadmap of how this is going to play out um important to understand is that on this chart yeah this is the, the count i basically am in favor of um, the count suggests that we created a wave one to the upside. That has always been the view, but I changed the internals a little bit to account for the latest price action. And I'm counting all of this as a possible leading diagonal, meaning that this here was an ABC pattern in a wave one, then an ABC pattern in a wave two. Here, this should become then also an ABC pattern. And this is then the wave three, and there will be a wave four and a wave five. So this is currently how I see optimism. This could also be something different. It could be a five wave move up. It doesn't really change much. It doesn't really matter too much um, in this case now, but I think um, this can be counted better as a three wave move, which would make it to a leading diagonal. But if we count the wave one um, as a three wave move, we have to count the wave three as a three wave move as well. So. Again, and here on this chart, you again recognize and see the potential of the Elliott wave method to judge charts. Yeah, this is one of the quality charts that we covered. Um, I covered it at least once a week for channel members in the um, opportunities coin videos. Yeah, and most of these coins are actually doing quite a good, um, are looking quite good at the moment. They are the coins where you know, I saw at least a stronger potential for them to, to do something interesting, right? And I think op Optimism is currently doing something very interesting. I mean, since the low, it has moved up now, well, 70, 80% actually, which is really, really good. So in summary, a wave one to the upside, and then we had this ABC and a wave two to the downside. It has reversed out of our reversal area. So this was the target. We expected it to get into first and then also to reverse out of it. And it's currently attempting to do this. And I think that this five wave move is part of this wave A. Now, what we don't know yet is if this is only the first wave of the wave A, because you can get the wave A as a five wave move. So this could only be the first wave, then you get a wave two, then you get a three, a four and a five in wave A. So I don't think this five wave move will already conclude wave A, even though it could, but I don't think so. We're way too overboard for that, um, especially given a price target of around, what did I say, $3, $3.30 or something. So yeah, um, looking now at the internals here in the, in the detail, let's go to the one hour chart. Um, my view is that in this, um, in this move to the upside, we have now completed three waves, waves one, wave two, wave three. And um, just to double check if wave three is complete, we can take a look at the Fibonacci extensions. We can see that wave three reached perfectly the $1.19 level, which is the 1.618 extension, which is an ideal target for the wave three. So I currently have to assume that it could be finished. Uh, I don't have a reversal signal yet though, so I cannot really confirm that but it is looking like we hit resistance. We came down from 119 to 113 already. Um, and if this comes down a bit lower, we should really reach this uh, $1.9 level, $1.10 level, because that's, that's, this would be then the retracement 
of um, the retracement target to complete wave four. So that's why I put this yellow area on the chart because this is sort of the, the micro support area for the fourth wave. You would at least need to reach here the $1.9, $1.10 level. That's the 23.6 retracement level. If we don't reach that, it's you know it's not entirely clear if it is then a wave four or not. You want to reach that because this gives clarity of the chart. So that's the first level to reach. The ideal level would be the $1.4 level, the 38.2 retracement. And um, the maximum this wave four should do is the 99 cent level. If it goes below that, it will put um, serious doubt on this imminent breakout pattern. Um, and at the moment, this is really looking like we are, we're doing it you know, in a parabolic way. So I do expect here at some point now a wave four retracement, and then there should be a wave five still to the upside. And I can give you a target about that maybe tomorrow in a couple of days when we know where wave four is bottoming, because at the moment we haven't really got any evidence that wave four is starting. But as I said, wave three, this is a five wave move and wave three has reached the ideal target. So we just need to be ready and on high alert that wave three could be finished. So yeah, overall, I think this is something interesting. I think this is currently breaking out. I think it's following the wave count at the moment. Um, we are massively overboard, but no bull, no bearish divergence yet. Maybe a slight one on the one hour chart, but that would confirm only what I said, which is a, sl a slight retracement in wave four. Here on the four hour, we're pushing still higher. And on the daily, we are also pushing higher. Momentum is increasing. Bullish crossover on the MACD as well. Yeah, cross of the zero line as well. They are all good signals for a continuation. So at the moment, I think we are on a roll here to the upside, which is good and absolutely needed in the crypto market. Now, if we push higher, the next major resistance level and a level that definitely needs to be broken on the way to the upside is the $1.47 level. I have to mention that level. Um, it is highly important. It is the level that needs to be broken to new all time highs and the all time high uh, or the, the high of the wave one needs to be broken as well. Eventually, this is at around 225. Okay, that's my update about optimism. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.